Hi everyone, so this is back on my review for volume 8. Just a recap first on volume 7. Mura, Tageki and Mashiro's editor, had convinced both Tageki and Mashiro to do a gag manga. Uh, first to do a one shot and to see how it would do. Ko Aoki, she decides to do a, a romance manga with pant shots. So, a slightly etchy. And they're both, like I said, uh, Tagagi and Mashiro and now Koaki are both going to do one shots for Akamaru. Uh, if you've been watching the anime, in the anime they actually say next, I think. But in the manga, at least in the, these ones, the English translated, it says Akamaru. And at the end of volume 7, Tagagi was going to have a meeting with uh, Koaki to exchange ideas for their mangas and he is surprised to find Iwase there and that's where it ends so like I said at the end of volume 7 he meets Iwase so at the beginning it just continues on and basically Iwase is trying to show off all trying to show Tagagi what she's accomplished saying that she's won awards that she's written a book and towards this she realised that she can't win Tagagi over with all this so she declares that she will write a manga So here the story goes back to Hamahisa and we find out a new mangaka uh, called Shizuka and he writes very dark manga almost uh, well the uh, ed other editors don't like it because it's humans killing other humans and they realize that this manga won't succeed as it is right now but they realize that this mangaka has quite a lot of skill and they expect great things from him. Another day, Ko Aoki finds out from Tagagi that uh, Nakai is working as an assistant for Takahama. And he kind of, not have the hots for, but kind of is attracted to uh, the other assistant called Kato, who worked as an assistant for Tagagi and Mashiro before. And, uh, well, as you see here, she's, she's a bit confused and shocked and everything. And the story moves on, and Tagagi and Mashiro, as you see here, are leaving to have uh, to go out for a meeting with uh, Bura, the editor. So, Miyoshi tasks herself with cleaning the studio. As she cleans, she finds a letter from Iwase because uh, when Iwase and Tagagi met, Iwase gave a book, her book in fact, to Tagagi. And without Tagagi knowing, there was a letter in there that was addressed to him, containing all her feelings, as you can see here. Tagagi didn't find it, but Mi uh, Miyoshi, Tagagi's girlfriend, found it and she's shocked. And she thinks that Tagagi is cheating on her. So she leaves. And that's that chapter end. Yeah. So at the meeting, Masha realizes that he does not have a great characters designed for the hero of, the, of their manga, their gag manga. As you can see here, it's not very good. It needs to be iconic, something that people can easily remember. Like for example, One Piece. Uh, Luffy's iconic for his straw hat. And well now he's got his scar, so that you could say is a bit iconic. Zoro is obviously his three swords. 
So yes, character design is very important so that even as you know years go on, people will easily remember like, oh yes, like maybe when you go down the road and see a straw hat, you might be uh, nostalgic uh, saying that, oh, it reminds me of One Piece, things like that. So this is why quite a lot of mangas try to come up with ideas that will make you remember their manga. So yes, at a later date, Mashiro asked Tagaki about why um, uh, Miyoshi hasn't visited them in quite a while. Tagaki thinks that uh, Miyoshi has given them space to write their manga. He's still unaware that uh, Iwase left a letter addressed to him in her book that she gave. And Tagaki rings Miyoshi and he finds out that Miyoshi knows that Tagaki met up with Iwase and he's shocked, he doesn't know how she knows. They realise that they don't have enough time to sort this problem out because they're trying to focus on the manga so they decided to to sort this their relationship out after they've done their one shot for Akamaru. So the early release of Akamaru comes out. These early releases are only for the editors and the mangakas, really. And Tagaki and Mashiro flick through it. And they see Sh Shizuka. I mentioned Shizuka is the one who creates the dark manga, you know, kind of like human killing human. But he kind of uh, not dumbed it down but made it less not less dark but less bloody you could say and it was published in Akamaru so they realize that it's quite dark and it's quite interesting and then they flip through and have a look at Ko Aoki's one and they say mm, it's kind of interesting it's weird that Ko Aoki doing panty shots but there you go but they realize that her romance story is basically a ripoff from their lives. It's the same story between uh, Mashiro and Miho. And they realize that if uh, Miho, as well as Miho, she reads this uh, this issue of Akamaru, that they're kind of both screwed really because uh, then they would know that Tagaki has told someone, the artist of this uh, romance, about their story, about their lives. So yes, later Miho calls Tagigi to try and sort the issue with uh, Tagigi and Miyoshi. And as well as Iwase, trying to find out what really happened. Miyoshi is staying with Miho at this point, and Miho talks to Mashiro after talking to Tegeki because she realizes that talking to Tegeki won't exactly get her anywhere. So she's hoping to get the truth out of Mashiro. Miho tells Mashiro that. Um, me or she found the letter that it was say wrote to Tagagi. After quickly reading the letter, Mashiro realizes that this is not good for them. This is not good for Tagagi. It just it just shows that me or she was kind of right to believe this. Mashiro does not want to reveal everything to Miho, and because of this. She hangs up, and as you can see here, Mashiro thinks that uh, Miho has dumped her. As you can see here, uh, Mashiro thinks that Miho has dumped him.
Mashiro doesn't know what to do and he decides to ring Miho back to try and apologize. Miho says, okay, I'll forgive you if you tell me everything. And Mashiro goes, trust me, trust me, if you, if you love me, trust me. You should be able to trust me. And Miho goes, if you trust me, shouldn't you be able to tell me everything? Well, I guess both of them are right on, on, their, on each of their fronts, but it's, it puts tension between them and they both hang up. And I guess because of this situation, they kind of break up. Tageki realizes, as well as Mi, uh, Miyoshi, who finds out about this situation later, that uh, that they're both stubborn. Both Mi, uh, Miho and Mashiro are both stubborn, and they won't give up until the other one does or says sorry or something. But as e neither of them are going to do that, this could end their relationship. So the first step Tageki comes up with to try and sort this situation out is to ring Ko Aoki and tell them to stop corresponding but Ko Aoki tells Tagigi something and he realizes he can't can't stop doing it if not she will lose a Ko Aoki will lose faith in men so now the story goes on and Akamaru comes out, released to the public, everyone gets to read it. Later the final report, or sometimes called the rankings or the readers survey, shows that Tanto, that's the name of the gag manga that Tagagi and Mashiro created, Tanto received first place. Ko Aoki received third place. And, well, yeah. Of course, Tagagi and Mashiro are happy, overjoyed, because with this, they can submit their work to the serialization meeting, and hopefully it will get serialized. The editors of Koaoki realized that her manga could be much better if they improved the pant shots. So the captain editor of uh, of the team with Ko Aoki's editor, uh, his name is Yamahisa, tells tells him to improve the pan shots probably by hiring Nakai again as probably an assistant or even as a I don't know as a joint manga car in this manga. Her editor informs Ko Aoki, and she says that she'll contact Nakai directly. Nakai and Ko Aoki meet, and it really disgusts me, really, because Nakai says, "I agree to work with you as long as you go out with me." Of course, uh, Ko Aoki doesn't have too much faith in men. Is quite saddened by this. Well, anyone would be sad by this. It's quite a disgusting thing to say. And she gives him a good slap. And she says, yep, yeah, you disgust me right down here. Nakai says he realises that Kato, the assistant he um, had a crush on, is better than Kawaki and realised that he would devote himself to her. Tagagi and Mashiro are now preparing a gag manga, Tanto, for civilization. But Tagagi notices that Mashiro isn't really doing the art up to standards, up to his normal standards anyway. So he decides to try and sort this situation out with Miyoshi. So Tagagi leaves, as you can see. And he rings Miyoshi. Of course, they start shouting at each other. Tagigi is trying to explain everything over the phone.
and they decide to meet a zoo to try it so that Tiger King can have a chance to explain himself. At the zoo, they said to meet at the uh, Monkey Mountain. And surprise, surprise, Ko Aoki's there. It's as if God is playing a joke. So Ko Aoki is actually there because she's kind of distressed with what happened with Nakai. And because of this, she throws herself into uh, Takagi's arms. And Miyoshi just happens to see this, as you can see up here. And she's shocked. Miyoshi starts running away and Tagigi and Aoki are chasing after her trying to explain that there's nothing going on between them it's it's just misunderstanding and she's not listening Miyoshi is not listening to anything they're saying and she's running away and Tagigi finally says marry me after a few conversations Everything's sorted, this whole mess is resolved. Ko Aoki apologizes to Miyoshi and apologizes to everyone really. And Miyoshi realizes that Ko Aoki is actually a good person and she said, Why not be friends? And you kind of feel sorry because if you go along, uh, Mashiro is the last one to find out. That everything is okay now. And because of this, uh, Mashiro has a strong resolve to get serialized again and get popular and everything. Koaki now visits. Tagging and Mashiro at the studio to apologize, and she mentions that she has a problem with drawing pant shots, panty shots. And Miyoshi kind of suggests Ishizawa. He was he's a student they know from uh, middle school. Uh, he's the guy that Tagigi punched for uh, disrespecting uh, Mashiro's artwork, or saying that it's bad and things like that. But Tagigi and Mashiro say, no, 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 no way, not that guy. But Koaki says, why not? Let's just see if he's okay or not. You know, if he can do the artwork. So they meet up with Ishizawa. And they realise that he's a damn pervert. Because he wants to model all the panty shots are based on Ko Aoki herself. Meanwhile, Fukuda is angry with Nakai and he charges into Takahama's place, Takama, Takahama studio, and he challenges Nakai why he didn't do the one shot with Aoki because be, uh, he would have a chance to be serialized. Why did he choose? Why did he choose not to do it? And he mentions something here because he chooses Kato over Aoki, and Fukuda gives him a punch in the face, as you can see right here. Fukuda realizes he's wasting his time on Nakai trying to get him serialized somehow and he leaves. Now uh, going back to the restaurant where the meeting with Ishizawa went, Tagi and Aoki are kind of disgusted with Ishizawa and are leaving but Ishizawa is following them so persistent that he follows them outside Fukuda turns up and he knocks Ishizawa down, as you can see right here at the bottom. Fukuda declares that he will help 
Aoki will teach her how to draw panty shots. At first, no one knows whether she will agree or not because she has quite a lot of pride as a mangaka. She says, okay, thank you very much. Onigashimasu. Going back to the marriage between uh, Tageki and Miyoshi. Remember, he proposed to her. And they agreed to get married once Tageki gets serialized again. So all the teams now and all the mangakas are working hard for this for the civilization meeting or cancellation meeting as it's called. And before the, the serialization or cancellation meeting, Hattori meets with Iwase. As I mentioned before, right at the beginning of this volume, she declares I should become a mangaka. She's trying to outdo Tagagi. Hattori sees that she has quite a lot of talent and sees that she could actually do pretty well. As I mentioned before, all the teams are working hard. And then finally the serialization meeting happens. The serialization meeting happens and Ko Aoki gets serialized. Bibi Kenichi, that's done by Takahama gets cancelled and Tanto by Tageki and Mashiro does not even get serialized. Naka realizes that his time with Kato, the other assistant, is limited so he tries to ask her out but she's not interested in him. She prefers younger men. Nakai thinks, oh okay I'll try with Ko Aoki again. I think he's a big shot or something. Nakai then rings Ko Aoki, thinking, like I said, he still has a chance with her. But Aoki tells him to never call her again, as she's disgusted with him. Next day, next day, Nakai does not go to work, as he realizes the mistake, and he gives up being a mangaka. As a result. Nakai decides to leave Tokyo, go back to the countryside with his, and to live with his parents. Mashiro is trying to stop him. Fukuda and Aoki see him off. There he leaves. After a meet with Iwase again and he sees the advancement that Iwase has made since the last meeting. How, how the writing has improved, how the story has improved. But she needs a partner because she is the writer and she needs a good artist to do her story. Or to do the storyboards or the names as they call it here. The story goes on and it ends with Hattori. It ends with Hattori convincing Eiji Nizuma to do the artwork for Iwase's story. Eiji Nizuma is actually really interested in her story and as I said he convinces Eiji Nizuma but they have to keep this on the down low or keep it quiet. Can't tell the other editors because this is a new thing. At one mangaka doing two mangas, it's never been done. Well, it wasn't a long, long time ago, but not recently. 
Edgy and Nizam, I also agree because Hattori told him this would make a Tagagi and Mashra more eager to write better manga, to outdo him, make their manga better than his. So that's why he agreed. And that's how this volume ends. Yep. Okay. Thanks for watching this review. Comment, subscribe, like. Okay, thanks.